After a close call for two brothers on Lake Winnebago, they are urging caution for those looking to venture out onto the ice-covered lake there. Right, this comes one week after two people died when their vehicle plunged through the ice. And the questions surrounding ice conditions, at least the many cracks that seem to be popping up, could persist through the upcoming sturgeon spearing season. Fox 11's Bill Miston takes a closer look. Not that I'm an expert by any means, but I consider myself a careful person out there, and it happens, and especially this year. It's bad out there. It really is. Terry Manlick and especially his brother Rick 17 inches of ice. know the dangers of Lake Winnebago all too well. We figured life was safe on this end. Uh, I drove across this crack, and the whole thing lifted up and moved. Thank God I made it across. With more than 60 years of fishing experience on the lake between them, the pair were about two miles out from Calumetville when an unseen spider crack popped up. That one then opened up and you can see it real well on the video. Nearly sending Rick and his truck in. Had I paralleled that, it would have probably rolled and, and dropped in. Hey guys, we're all on Winnebago. With the truck back near shore, Rick shot this video to share with others on the internet about what happened and where. The two, who also run an ice fishing gear business, say the worst is always in the back of their minds. This year has just been... It's just been crazy this year. It's, it's worse than any other year I've seen out there. Mainly after a Sussex man and his eight-year-old son died last Sunday morning when their Jeep went through near Oshkosh. High winds, fluctuating temperatures, and the lack of a heavy snowpack aren't helping matters. Just to give you an idea how bad conditions are here, winds are coming in from the northeast off the lake, blowing snow. I'm about 60 feet away from the camera right now, and it's difficult to see me from this distance. I can see barely a couple shanties as well as vehicles out on the ice. Definitely not a place you want to be. This year there is more cracks. It's a little, it's a little bit more dangerous than a normal year. But. Don Herman, who's the guy you call to get whatever you might own out of the water, says average ice thickness is fairly normal at about 17 inches. But there are multiple east-west cracks compared to the usual ones that run north-south. This year they're going east and west all over. I, I, it's, it's, it's boggling, but you know you just got to be a little bit more cautious. Just like the Manlicks learned. Oh, my truck will not be going back out there this year. That's for sure. In Oshkosh, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. Herman says the lake will continue to make ice, but unless the lake gets more snow, the ice conditions could prove to be an issue—an issue rather for the upcoming sturgeon spearing season. That's in two weeks.